For the third time this season, the Golden State Warriors knocked off the Los Angeles Clippers. Tonight, it was Klay Thompson leading the Warriors with 32 points, Steph Curry adding 23, and Draymond Green with yet another triple-double, 18 points, 11 rebounds, and 10 assists, as the Warriors held off the Clippers 115-112. to The Clippers had a 13-0 run in the last 100 seconds or so of this game, but Doc Rivers is not being misled by that late run. He said this was a horrible night offensively for the Clippers. I look at the 115 they scored, and if you don't know basketball, you would say, well, it was just a horrible defensive night. Uh, I thought it was a horrible offensive night. They created a horrible defensive night. Um, I thought we were impatient. Uh, I thought we stood around far more than usual. Um, I, you know, I can't wait to see the ISOs that we had um, over and over again. And uh, that's just not the way I like to play. I don't think that's a very effective way for our team to play. But they have such great shooters, just kind of body on body type things. Uh, they get no open space, miscommunication plays, or maybe one of the guys you don't think is shooting. Uh, sets a pick on somebody else shooting, we don't switch properly or we don't get the right position and we give up two points. Things of that nature, I think we can, we can correct for sure. Yeah, any top team, you know, you got to come up with the right mindset, the right spirit, and uh, you can't make game plan mistakes. We gave up a lot of, you know, points on things that we went over and, and shoot around and practice. Um, and when you play a team as good as they are, you can't, you can't have those, those kind of mistakes. And uh, when you do, they make you pay for it. Is it fair to say that right now they're they're a better team than you guys? DJ. The numbers were there for Clipper center DeAndre Jordan. 16 points, 21 rebounds, a couple blocked shots. Andrew Bogut did not start tonight due to a sore Achilles, so Brandon Rush started in the small lineup with Draymond Green at center. However... The Warriors took advantage of DeAndre Jordan's presence on the floor. They made over 51% from the field. They made over 60% just inside the arc alone. And they outscored the Clippers 58-46 to as far as points in the paint. It left DeAndre Jordan very frustrated. And for me, the question for DeAndre, what happens when Blake Griffin is back on the floor against this team? With this game in a vacuum, you know you're going to get Blake back, say you guys meet in the, in the playoffs. How do you and Blake on the court improve the defense against this particular team? Um, <clears throat> I feel like we did a pretty good job. We had a pretty good game plan tonight of, of switching things with, with Draymond because he can hurt you when you when you show he, he's a he can knock down the, the, the three point shot that he, he's he's a he's a great playmaker for their team. Um, but when we switch it and it, it forces those guys to, to just play one on one basketball, which is it, it's tough but it um, you try to take away something, you're not gonna take away everything but it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting once Blake gets back. We'll we'll probably have to play smaller at times against a team like this that we see him again. And uh, just adjust, that's all. Chris Paul had 24 points tonight, but he was not able to finish yet again against the Golden State Warriors, this time due to a thigh bruise. However, it's not expected to be a major concern for the Clippers at this time. I'll be all right. I'll be ready by, what's today? Saturday. Saturday. Monday. So, uh, yeah, I'll be fine. Bruise or something? It was just a thigh bruise. Uh, I didn't like the way he was running. Five minutes left in the game. And to me, uh, I look at the season as a whole, and you know, I just figured the way he was running, it would lead to something else. Um, so I took him out. The schedule lightens up considerably for the Clippers for the remainder of the month of February. We're talking about four teams that don't have a record over 500. The Clippers have a very challenging schedule ahead of them in March. So in terms of integrating Jeff Green into the lineup, they have a great opportunity to do that. It starts Monday here against the Phoenix Suns. At Staples Center, this is Long Murray for Clipper Block.